I was born in Jackson, Mississippi, in a very turbulent time in our nation's history. My parents were instrumental in what was going on in the hotbed of the civil rights movement in Mississippi. Mass meetings, protests, boycotts, all the things that we needed to do to further humanity to equality. My father, Medgar Evers, was the field secretary for the NAACP. My mother was right alongside of him. So growing up was interesting. Growing up was informative. Growing up was nurturing. And growing up with my family was loving. It was painful. And it forever changed what I thought would be a normal life. My father was assassinated in 1963. Mississippi is so complex, but good people, good people, and tortured, tortured with our history, with being in the space that is a constant reminder, the stains of my father's blood brings me back and propels me forward. One thing that propels me to do the work in education is primarily around the history. When my children were growing up and I looked at their history books and people that I know, that I've touched, that are in the movement were never mentioned never ever mentioned. It was rare that my father's name was mentioned. And so part of our new project is to take history and make it new again. Coming into this fellowship, I was elated. But then, you know, then what? You know, I, I have to come and be present. I have to come and show myself. Can't I just hide like, like I've been doing? It's extremely difficult when people expect you to step into the shoes of icons. Being in this fellowship has really opened the door. And when I opened the door, there were hundreds of people with open arms accepting me. And that has been a huge transformation. We are a powerful group of wonderful human beings that are in this to learn as many tools as we can to have the leadership that is going to really be a positive way for others and for ourselves to get this right about humanity.